I'm Yutsu Shindo, 25-year-old office worker. I'm a hard worker, and I'm able to enjoy my work if I say so myself. Though I have a certain problem, which is commonly known as a problem of romance. President, good morning. Good morning. She looks beautiful today, too. Huh? Uh, Miss President, you've got something on your back. Stop! I'll take it off myself. Do not come within a one meter radius. Uh, I'm sorry. As usual. Her name is Maki Fujiwara. She's our president. I'm smitten with her beauty and her approach to work. But she rejects me like this. No, it's not just me. I wonder if something happened in the past. She is well known for her dislike of men. She has an unusual wariness of male employees. And if a man tries to approach her, she keeps them away like this. Well, seeing that she does this to other people, it doesn't seem like I'm the only one she doesn't like. But it's still too hard to get the kind of relationship I want. I'm living in a blur of not being allowed to approach the person I like. What should I do for dinner? I told you! I've always been thinking about you, Maki! Don't get close! Don't say that! You're making me sad! I said, don't get close! Huh? That's the president, right? After work on my way home, Someone who looks like the president is arguing with a man at the station. The president was rejecting him harder than I've ever seen. In contrast, the man wasn't hesitant to approach the president. He doesn't look like some pickup artist. I, who have feelings for the president, didn't just walk by and walked over to her. President, is something wrong? Shindo kun? Huh? Who are you? It's none of your business. Just go home. That's not how it works. You called her president. Does that mean you're an employee of Maki's? Then a mere employee should be the one to leave. This is between me and Maki. So, it's okay if I'm not just an ordinary employee? Yeah, but a guy like you? I'm her boyfriend. What? Let's go, Maki-san. Hey, wait! I know it was a bold move on my part. But he wouldn't have backed down otherwise, so I had no choice. I pulled the president's hand and ran through the night. <sighs> I think we ran away far enough. Uh, hey. Uh, I'm sorry. I was kind of desperate for help. And the thing earlier? The thing earlier? When you said you're my boyfriend. It's my desire. No, those words came out of a desperate attempt to help, too. Um, who was that? My ex. We had a falling out. So, the president has a history of dating, huh? What do you take me for? No, because you don't like guys. You always tell people not to come within a one meter radius. Come to think of it, I didn't reject you earlier. What? No, it's nothing. Men cheat, right? That's why I don't like them. That's not right. Not all of us are like that. I've always had feelings for you. What? I don't know why I said this. 
I'm not sure I'm the kind of person who would suddenly confess to someone who I haven't even had a proper conversation with yet. I wonder if I subconsciously felt that if I missed the timing, I would regret it for the rest of my life. The president was frozen by my words. I waited patiently for her response. Eventually, the president looks at me and opens her mouth. I'll take you home. It's around here, isn't it? N no that's fine. I should walk you home, if anything. Don't worry. I'll catch a taxi and go home. I got you into a mess, so I should at least take you home. Well, well I'll take your word for it, then. Hey, Shindo. Thanks. Uh, no problem. There was no response to my earlier statement, but I was satisfied. Because on the way home, I was able to get within a one meter radius of the president. Uh, today's kind of tough. Oh. What are you doing? President? What is it? So close. What is this sudden romantic comedy development? You don't look well. You've been working too hard lately, haven't you? You should go home today. Yes, I will do so. After that day, the president stopped shutting me down and became kinder felt kind of good because she seems to be wary of the other employees as usual. I decided to tell her what I said to her that day as we got to know each other gradually. Paper won't go down. I didn't think I'd have to take a day off again today. If I'm correct, this is the first time I've ever been out sick for two days. I'm a workaholic, and sick days are the worst for me. I have to work, and I want to see the president's face. Uh, I fell asleep while I was thinking about a lot of things. Hmm. The sun is shining through the gap between the curtains. I must have fallen asleep for quite a while. I haven't eaten much all day. I need to put something in my mouth. As I get out of bed, I feel a strange sensation. Huh? Someone's next to me? I can't see because they're hidden by a blanket, but I know someone's sleeping next to me. Is this a dream? I think my mother's the only one in the house. Hard to believe that my mother would do something like this. I stiffened my body to get up and pretended to be asleep. Then... Are you going to sleep again? Whoa! P -p president Why are you here? I came to visit you. I'm glad you live at your parents' house. Your mother let me into your room. By the way, do you work out? You have a nice body. What? Leaving the president's action aside, I was a little relieved when I found out what the discomfort was. But there's one more thing I can't figure out. Oh, um, president? Why are you dressed like that? Um, I'll try not to look, so please change quickly. Oh, this is an experiment. Experiment? I mean, well, there's no particular reason. I've been hiding under the covers for a long time, and it was hot. That's all. I see. Well, if you're feeling better, I'm going to go now. Thank you very much for taking the trouble. You can take tomorrow off, too. Just be safe. I'll see you at work soon. The 
president was about to leave the room after saying that, but stopped in front of the door with her hand on the doorknob. And when the sound of her deep breath faded, she tilted her head in my direction and said something I didn't expect. If you still have feelings for me, um, I want to respond to your feelings too, Shindo-kun. What? If you want to, then so do I. I want us to have a relationship that's more than just boss and employee. Does that mean... But, you should keep your work and private life separate. And after saying that, the president opened the door and left. As she was leaving, I saw their ears were flushed, and I understood 100% what she meant. I put my hand on my forehead, and it's still hot. I couldn't tell if it was from the fever or from something the president said or did. Good morning. Morning. Thank you for yesterday. You could have taken a day off today, too. No, I feel better now. I wanted to work as soon as possible. More importantly, I wanted to... see the president's face. I told you yesterday, right? To keep your work and private life separate. Oh, I I'm sorry. Well, I wanted to see Shindo-kun's face, too. Um, shall we have dinner after work today? Y yes As you can see, me and the president are dating. We ought to go out together these days. The more I got to know her, the more I fell in love with her. Hey, excuse me. Yes? Am I type? Want to go drinking right now? I'm sorry. Just a little bit? I can't. I have an important girlfriend. Sorry. This is the first time in my life that I've ever had a woman approach me. Is it my time to be popular now? Well, it doesn't matter. I have the president. I want to spend time with the president. It doesn't matter if I'm popular. I can't shake this feeling. And just like that, my relationship with the president is going well. You live in a place with a great view. This is the first time I've been to a high-rise mansion. Hey, you know, we're dating, so stop using honorifics. Right, President. Don't call me President either. Call me by my first name. M maki san you don't need to say the san, but okay. Shall we have a drink? I'll get something. Thank you. I mean, thanks. Huh? What? What's wrong? N nothing. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll be going today. What? Why? I'm sorry. Wait. Uh, uh, can't concentrate at all. Can't go on like this. In the two days since I went to Maki-san's house, I haven't exchanged a word or contact with her. I suddenly saw it. Hmm? Huh? Why? It seems that Maki-san was the one who arranged the approach from the beautiful woman. She must have been worried because she once said with a clouded expression, men cheat on their girlfriends. But I was sad. It made me feel like I wasn't trusted. But she doesn't have any ill will. She's just insecure because of the trauma from her past experiences with men. So, let's not worry about it anymore. 
I thought so, but I feel awkward about seeing her again because of how we left things. But I have to go. Give this to the president. The president's off today. I think she's sick. What? What? Maki-san, I came to visit you. Uh, I see. Uh, hey, Yuta, about the other day. Yeah, I happen to see it. I thought it was strange, getting approached by a woman like that. I'm sorry. I was sad. You don't trust me. I'm really sorry. So from now on, I'll try to be more trustworthy. What? I thought you would dislike me. If I did, I wouldn't have come to see you. I wouldn't have been sad to see that in the first place if I disliked you, Maki-san. I was sad because I like you. I'm really sorry. I don't have a lot of experience, and I've only been with two people in my life. And both of them cheated on me and broke up with me. I didn't know that. The guy you saw the other day heard about my success as the president and tried to get back together with me. It's awful, but I'm just as much of a jerk as he is since I hurt someone I like. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make excuses by talking about the past. I'm really sorry. Don't apologize anymore. But don't do things like that from now on. I'll never do anything to make you sad. If you don't trust these words, I'll do my best to be more trustworthy. So please, believe me. I believe you. That's why I won't do anything like that again. I swear I won't hurt you anymore. Yeah, I'll trust Maki-san too. Okay, then, this conversation is over. Has your fever gone down? No, not yet. I don't want you to catch it, so... I'll stay close by. Even if I catch it, Maki-san's cold is more than welcome. Then stay next to me, just like that day. Y yeah It doesn't matter if she's the president or I'm a guy. People are equally weak. That's why we all have family, friends, and lovers. We all support each other. I have people support me and people I support. Hello! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye.